The Glossary Tool, a Brightspace tip from the AACPS Office of Instructional Technology. The glossary is one of many terms that is available within Brightspace. To build a glossary for your students, you're going to first select Course Admin. From the list of tools selected, choose Glossary. You will then be brought to the glossary page. You can see here I have already started building my glossary, but I'm going to add a new term. To do this, I select the blue New Term button in the upper left-hand corner. In this screen, I'm going to type the vocabulary word where it says term. And then in my definition box, I can go ahead and type out what I would like it to say. So in this case, the perimeter is the distance around a plane figure. Now, this is the HTML editor that is common and found throughout Brightspace. So if I desired, I could insert an image. I could also go under my insert stuff and put in a video note if I wanted. I can also, of course, link out to other resources. If I want to link within my course, so for example, I might have additional information about perimeter that the students could click on if they needed more information. And that's where I would use the link to content topic here underneath the definition. You can see when I hit my drop down arrow, it's going to bring up all of my topics within my course. So I simply need to find the one that I'm looking for. So here's the one on area and perimeter. This is then now going to give a link to that section of my course within the glossary. Once you are finished the term, you can select save if that's all you are going to do. If you have another term that you want to enter, you can do save and new. For this, I'm just going to hit save. From here, you'll see now that when I go down, that underneath um, that letter P, I have now my definition for perimeter. And here is that link that would take my students directly to that place in the content. You'll notice that, uh, if the students click this, it will open that uh, Brightspace area in another window or another tab. Across the top to navigate, any letters that have a term underneath are going to be highlighted in blue, although that might be difficult to see here. So the students, when they come in, they can simply click on the letter and jump to that area of the alphabet. You'll also notice that there is navigation to go to the top of the list um, at every word. And if you, um, by any chance, need to delete a term that you have in here, hit the down arrow beside it and you can hit delete. If you need to delete multiple, use the check boxes and then use the delete button at the very top of the list. I'll also point out that you can import terms using a spreadsheet if you um, would prefer to do it that way.